Hey everybody, this is Amanda Schmidt with Snappy New Day Art and I am so excited to be painting with you today. We are doing a fluffy bunny tutorial, perfect for Easter or spring. Um, so I am really excited to get started. So let me show you my screen here and we will get started. Hey, I'm getting faster each time. Or maybe just lucky. Maybe that was just luck. <laughs> so as you pop on, say hello. Let me know what you're doing today. Um, and I'm always taking requests for, um, for that is not the brush I want, um, taking requests for uh, future paint-alongs. So if you have an idea for something that you want me to paint, then just let me know. And we'll get started. So yeah, we're doing this cute little bunny. I love him. Um, so we're going to be drawing him first and then we'll paint him and, um, then, or her, and then we'll, um, add the really cool background. Okay. So as you pop on, say hello and, um, and let me know that you're painting with me. Okay. So let's draw this little guy. Um, it's really easy and really you can make your, your bunny look however you like. So this is just kind of an example. Okay. So I like to have him kind of look like he's like peeking out um, from behind something. So what I do first is I'm going to get my hand moving to make an oval, but I'm not going to draw the whole oval on my picture or on my paper. I'm just going to use like part of it. Okay. So I'm going to kind of draw my oval. Okay. Now his ears, his ears are kind of hanging, um, out of the, the frame here too. Um, and that's okay. You can fit his ears in if you want to, but I kind of like the way it looks, um, with his ears kind of cropped out of the, the picture. So we're going to do his main ear. And like I kind of did before with his head here, um, I'm just going to kind of get my hand moving like, um, I'm drawing it all on one big piece of paper, but I'm really only going to be seeing part of it. All right, so I'm gonna draw a kind of a big curve like that. And then I'm going to curve around and then meet his ear back up here, okay? And then I'm gonna draw his other ear as though it's, um, it's there, okay? And now I need his body and his fluffy tail, okay? Now, I do have um, this part of his ear that we'll need to draw. So it's kind of a, just a teardrop shape. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to go to the top of my, the inside of my ear here and then put my teardrop shape there. And you can make it as big as you want or, um, as small as you want, but that is our ear so far. Now let's do his face. Okay. So, uh, this is how I like to do Mr. Bunny's face. I like to put a heart for his nose. Okay. And then from there, I'm going to do two kind of oval shapes, teardrop shapes from under his nose. Okay. So we're going to do one here and here. And if it kind of goes off the page, that's okay. All right. And then you can always put, give him little teeth. They're really cute. <laughs> And then um, his eyes. You can always add the eyes later, but you don't have to. Sometimes I like to put them in there just so I kind of know where he's, where they're supposed to go. And then we'll go over with the outline. But, um, but yeah, so there's our Mr. Bunny. So cute. Now, if you notice in my um, example, I have a lot going on in the background. We'll save that for later, okay? Now, if you guys see this, it's okay. It's just my camera looking down. Um, I've changed around how I set up my stuff and you can see it now and it's fine. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't think I care if it shows. So it shows. Okay. So let's get this little guy painted. Okay. Now I used, um, very light colors. Now uh, you might not even be able to see in this lighting, but I used light blue and then some pink. And that's pretty much all the color I have for, for Mr. Bunny. Um, so you choose whatever colors you like um, for your bunny. He does not have to be blue and pink like me. Um, you could do a unicorn rainbow uh, rabbit if you wanted to. But um, 
don't worry about whatever color you want. Okay, so now, um, let's start with his big ear, okay? So I'm going to take some clean water, and I'm gonna put clean water all over my paper. Now, if you notice, I'm not using a full sheet of paper. A full sheet of paper is this big, okay? I cut one of these in half, and that's what I taped to my um, foam board, okay? So don't feel like you have to do a big one if you just wanna cut a, your paper in half, that's totally fine. You could even cut it into like quarters or something if you wanted. Um, I like to paint smaller. That's just how I, how I roll. Um, it is a rare day where I'll get out a, you know, regular sized piece of paper and paint on it, unless it's like with acrylic, but with a um, watercolor, I, I keep it pretty small. I keep it, I like to say like bite size, keep it in bite sized pieces. Okay. So if you're popping on, hello, hello, even if it's the replay, say hello. So I know that you watch just in case you have any questions. Um, I have been having so much fun painting with you guys each of these days. So today I'm, I'm painting Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I am hoping that that schedule will continue. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is a nice way to kind of break up the, the middle of the week, um, for me at least. And so I'm hoping that's the same for you. Um, so yeah, and this is a, I, I think the schedule this week will be perfect and then it's at noon. So I'm going to try and keep it at noon each day. Okay. So, um, and then I always do, um, most of the time, 99% of the time, um, if you really, really can't get, um, uh, or if you're not available rather at noon, uh, central time, um, I always do a replay. Okay. So no worries. All right. So I'm going to pick up a blue, just a regular, a random blue I kind of have in my palette here. And so I'm going to focus on the outside edge of his ear. Okay. So I put my water there so it's nice and wet. And now I'm going to take my blue and just kind of put it on the outside edge of the ear. Okay. So now I want to kind of blend that in so it doesn't look like he has a big green stripe or blue stripe on his ear. Okay. So I'm washing off my brush. I'm dabbing it off. And now I'm going to smooth out that line and blend that blue or whatever color you want in. Mine is kind of a turquoise today. Okay. And then I'm going to add a little bit more here and here. Okay. And then same thing. I'm going to wash off my brush, dry it off a little bit, and then blend that blue or whatever color you want in to his ear. So it kind of gives him a little bit of a shadow. Um, I didn't want him to just stay white um, because most things, can we talk about that with black the other day, I think with the, the bears. Um, white is never just white. There's lots and lots and lots of colors in white, okay? So if you think, oh, it's just white, it's really not. There's lots of colors that come into um, a white thing or even something that's clear. Like if you see a bubble, there are so many colors when you go to make a bubble. Okay, so now let's do the inside of his ear. This should still be a little bit damp, and if you need to add a little bit more water, you can. But we're gonna make the inside of the ear pink, um, or you can do whatever color you like. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna grab some pink, and I'm going to put it in his ear. Now I'm using, if you noticed earlier, if you're just joining me, I wet his ear all with water, okay? So that is called a wet on wet technique. It's wet paint on put on wet paper on with a wet brush, okay? So I think it looks really nice, especially when it comes to like something like the inside of a cute bunny ear because it makes it look nice and soft because we know bunny ears are very, very soft, right? So um, I like the wet on wet technique to make things look nice and soft. And I use it quite a bit, especially for my first layer. Now I might go back over at some point for some things and um, add uh, wet on dry um, for, for the second layer, but generally I use a wet on wet technique, okay? So let's go ahead and do his other ear here. Now this ear isn't, there's not much to it. So let's add 
some water because we want it to um, kind of have the same feel as the other one. I'm going to grab some of my blue that I've been using and I'm going to put it, let's just do a little bit on each side. Okay, and I smoothed it out. Make sure you have plenty of water on your paper, okay? You don't want it so much that it's like a big puddle, um, but it needs to be wet enough to where it's shiny, but you can still kind of see the grain of the paper, okay? That's how I what I like to try and do. All right, let's do his little face now. Same thing, we're gonna go in with clean water. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pretty much do water everywhere. You probably could avoid his teeth if you want to keep them white, but I'm not too, too, too concerned. Um, so guys, let me know what you've been painting and making, okay? Um, I have been loving seeing what people have been making with their family and their kids. Um, and if you want something that's nice and short and um, easy to, to kind of fit into the day, um, I encourage you to sign up for my, um, I'm calling it 15 Minutes of Watercolor. It's a five-part series, okay? And it's meant to um, give you uh, five little projects that can be done in 15 minutes or so um, that just kind of let you um, kind of disconnect from the stuff going on in the day. It could be by yourself, moms and grandmas and caretakers or whoever. Um, it could be something for you. It could be something that you can do with the kids. It can do be something that the kids can kind of do on their own even. Um, the projects I have are, um, they're kind of good for everybody. They're, they're fun for all skill levels. And um, they are simple to finish in just a short amount of time. All right. So uh, I'll put the, when the replay comes around, I will um, give you the link to that. It is totally free and you have uh when it, as soon as you sign up you have like full access to it and you'll start getting the emails okay so um yeah sign up for that it's so i i'm i love the projects i have going on honestly like i like them so much i want to share them here but i'm like no you have to sign up for that <laughs> um so yeah so if you want some of those they're really they're really fun one of them is tie-dye one of them is sunbursts one of them is um like floral wreaths, one of them, uh, I can't remember the rest. Um, the last day we do something really cool with the tie-dye piece that you did on the first day. It's really fun. So I highly encourage you to kind of hang out with me over there. So I'll make sure I put the sign up link um, in the uh, description for the replay, okay? Or if you comment below, I'll make sure you get it, okay? So if you don't feel like hunting down the, the link and um, you don't directly see it, just let me know and I'll, uh, I'll give it to you. Now, guys, make sure, so now, right now I'm getting some pink on my brush. Now make sure where his little cheeks are is nice and damp, okay? Because I'm gonna give him a little bit of like bunny blush, okay? So I'm gonna give him a little cheek, okay? Now, if you want to keep it nice and like round like that, you can. Or if you want to smooth it out, kind of like I did on mine, just wash off your brush and then blend in that pink, okay? You can kind of move around that paint, which is a little bit different than like acrylic. You can't move acrylic paint around too much um, as compared to watercolor. So I, that's one thing I really like about watercolor. So there's his little, um, cheekies. Now let's do, um, let's do his nose. So I'm going to use the same pink. You can use whatever color you like. And your paper's going to be a little bit damp. Okay. So make sure that you try and keep it in the, near the lines anyway, of his little heart nose. If it starts to kind of bleed, it's okay. It's totally fine. It dries lighter than it looks on the paper anyway, so it's no big deal. And you can always pick up some of that paint too if you want. And what I'll probably do 
um, and something I think I did on this one too was um, I let it kind of dry and then I go back in with um, either more paint or um, some colored pencil, which is actually what I used on the background. All right, uh, let's do his little like whisker things. Um, we'll add the actual whiskers um, when uh, it's all dry. But for now, we'll just leave it. Okay, so there's his little whiskers. I guess those are his lips, his little bunny lips. <laughs> and there we go. So I will say, I think if I were you, something I didn't do, which I usually do if I'm painting by myself, um, I would let it dry maybe before you put the blue on because it looks like it's kind of trying to move on me, which is really not a big deal. But if you're patient, you can let it dry and then that blue will just sit right on top. Okay. All right. Let's do his little body. So clean water again. Okay. And then I'm going to pull up some of that blue again very light okay so I'm just going around where the edge of his belly would be okay and now I'm going to smooth it out okay and then I'm going to grab some more pink because I'm going to give him a pink belly okay so here's his belly and we're just going to act like it's kind of going off the page okay I mean, you're pretty cute. I love him. All right, let's see. Um, now we need to do his tail. So now this part's still fairly um, damp. So it's okay if it goes into his little body. Um, but if you want to keep the pink tail separate, just be very careful and make sure that your line of water doesn't touch the, uh, the blue, okay? So I'm going to use the tip of my brush to make sure I'm only filling in his little cotton tail here. Okay, and now I'm going to grab a little bit more pink. I'm going to keep it pretty light. There we go. All right, he's pretty good to go. So let's do this. I'm gonna dry this really fast. Um, and then we'll do the, um, the background, okay? So for the background, um, I, this is what we're gonna do first. We're gonna do the yellow, okay? <clears throat> I did a, a background color and then I put the polka dots on top once it dried, okay? So, Let's see here. Hopefully this isn't too wet. I think it'll be all right. All right, so you could always grab your hair dryer or whatever, but I think mine's kind of far away, so I won't worry about it. <laughs> so um, when you do his background, it, you do need to make sure that the bunny in general, and the only part that's even a little bit wet is this cotton tail. So I'm gonna be careful so it doesn't bleed into the background. Um, but we're going to go in and with our whatever color paint you want, we're going to go all the way around the bunny um, with your background color. Okay, so I did yellow. And I guess I'll do yellow again. Or maybe I'll do green. Maybe I'll do this pretty green. I'm going to get my bigger brush. Now this is where it's nice to have um, something that you can move around, okay? So I'm gonna do this kind of upside down. Now I wanna make a nice puddle of my green. I'm gonna have plenty of water in it. You can always go back in with more paint, okay? So there's my green. And if you wanted to, you could do wet on wet. You don't have to. I'm just going to kind of go in here and put 
put my, now if you have plenty of water in it, it'll move just fine, okay? But if you don't have enough water in with your paint, it's gonna look kind of streaky, um, which, is, um, which is okay if you wanna make some texture or something like that. Uh, but generally, um, streaky watercolor, it doesn't, it doesn't look that great. So your goal is to kind of get it as soft and smooth as possible. So you might notice I'm kind of letting my brush do the work for me. I'm using the tippy tip of my round brush. I love this green, it's such a cool green. Okay, and if it kind of goes into where the bunny is, it's okay. All right, so I know that our Easter plans are gonna be a little bit weird this year, uh, but I hope that the Easter bunny gets to, well, I know the Easter bunny will still come and hang out with you, leave you a treat for sure. Oh, and this would be cute to leave for the Easter Bunny, wouldn't it? Oh my gosh. The Easter Bunny would love it. Maybe if you leave this for the Easter Bunny, the Easter Bunny will sign it. <laughs> that would be super cute. I think if I were the Easter Bunny, I would sign it. That would be awesome. Or autograph, autograph, give you an autograph. That would be a hoot. There we go. So I'm just making sure I have plenty of water because if I don't have enough water, it's gonna dry before I can get it across my page and then it will look streaky. And we don't want that. If you can't avoid it. It just takes practice. So if it happens, it's no big deal. It just means that's something that you'll work on. It is something that um, every artist has to work on. Even now, I'm, like I, I told you a while back, I'm doing an online um, art class, a watercolor class. So and we're practicing like moving the, pa the paint around on the paper so we don't make streaks, you know, just the basics. And it's really nice. I love it. Okay, so here's the deal. This is where I'm going to stop, um, but I will tell you, this is where I'll show you how I did his polka dots. So this is all wet, so I'm not going to be able to show you right this very second. Um, I wanted to do, I, I this morning I, my goal was to have like a bunny painted to this point so I could show you this, but I ran out of time, so I hope you forgive me. Um, but I will show you. Um, on the back here how I did uh, the the polka dots okay so the polka dots are uh, I think they make everything like really pop they're really cute so what you're going to do so let's say you know this is my bunny whatever okay and um, you have your totally dry painting okay what you're going to do is take, um, what I did was I took like the inside of a washi tape and I used this to do my polka dots. So you can either do the inside and make a smaller polka dot or you can do the outside and do a bigger polka dot. Um, I think I'll do, or you can mix them up and do a little bit of both. Um, but either way, what I did was, I wanted the polka dots to be kind of acting like they're coming from they're behind him, okay? So I don't wanna put the polka dots on top of him. So what I did was I laid down my tape and then I just went around the circle enough to where the polka dot is just peeking out, okay? And then what I did was um, I took a colored pencil or you could use a crayon or you could use a marker, I think, it would have to be a Sharpie though. I don't think a regular like Crayola washable marker would work. You could try it, I don't know. Um, and I took a pencil. Let's see what color it's gonna show up for you guys. And then just on top of the paint, I colored in my polka dots. Okay, and it took me a little while. Okay, so as smoothly as you can, you're gonna color over, or inside rather, sorry, 
your polka dot. Now, I'm doing a little fast, but you can also kind of go over it with a couple of colors and layer, um, layer your polka dots. Okay, and they actually almost look a little bit like Easter eggs. So you can do that. Let me go around and do the rest of those. So then you can just basically put your polka dots wherever, it's hard for me to see, sorry guys, wherever you like. Just leave them behind the bunny. So this, this um, polka dot will be all colored, okay? And then you can do some whole ones. And this will be all on your dry watercolor, okay? And you can even have them kind of going off the page, which I love to do that. Okay, so that's how I did his background. So um, let me recap what we did. So we drew Mr. Bunny, and if you need to go back and watch the replay to see how I did that, you can. Um, and then I did a really light layer of uh, water, and I did a little bit of blue, and then I put in his ear, and um, then I uh, um, did his little face, and then the background, okay? So um, now this is a little bit dry. So when you get done, or when it's dry, you can always go in with your marker and add His little details you can don't forget to leave give him whiskers I forgot to do that one day <laughs> and I'm like something's missing with this bunny and it was whiskers somebody pointed that out to me I'm like oh my gosh thank you I forgot his whiskers okay so you can go and add his details however you like okay You can keep it loose. It doesn't have to be like on a line. So this is still a little bit wet. All right, and then that's where you'll do your, your polka dots. Okay, and actually this is a kind of dry. So let me show you one. How about that? So like my polka dot. Oop. It's a little bit wet. If you try to do the pencil on the paper when it isn't completely dry, it might tear the paper, just FYI. But you go, you guys kind of get the idea that this will be a little colored in polka dot. Okay, and you would just kind of do that wherever you want in the background. Okay, or you can make the bunny polka dot bunny. That would be cute too. <laughs> so whatever you guys want to do. But either way, I'd love to see it. So let me know. Um, how it goes. And I'd love to see your bunnies. And um, I can't wait to uh, paint again with you. We're going to be painting tomorrow in Art in a Snap Facebook group. Um, and that is where we'll be painting this. I don't know, I can't see that. Um, for our Happy Mail tutorial. So we'll be able to send this out on a card to somebody. somebody. Um, whoops. And then this is our uh, paint along for Thursday. Okay, here, let me switch it. Um, this is what we'll do on Thursday. I am so excited. It kind of reminds me of um, the, uh, the little owl on, um, on Mr. Rogers, doesn't it? <laughs> I forget his name. I think it's just owl, isn't it? Uh, anyway, so um, this will be Thursday right here at noon, and then this will be tomorrow, Wednesday, right here at noon, okay? So um, I can't wait to see you guys there. So I'll see you later. Be sure to sign up for the 15 minutes of watercolor five-day challenge. And um, yeah, I'll see you. Have a snappy new day. Bye.